Hello and welcome to the view from the 2019 IMF and World Bank annual meetings. I'm joined today by Ukraine's Minister for Economic Development, Trade and Agriculture, Timothy Milovanov. Minister, thank you for joining me. Thank you. Um, now, at this year's meetings, we've heard there is a, a much gloomier outlook for the global economy uh, for the end of this year and into next year. Uh, where does Ukraine sit in that picture? Actually, we appear to be an outlier, uh, even within our region. Um, the World Bank um, has upgraded our forecast for the economic growth to 3.7%, which is, of course, you know, given our aspirations to become in 20 years a major uh, Central European or Eastern European economy uh, relative to the previous forecast uh, of 3%, I think, while everyone else has been downgraded or been conservative on the outlooks for the rest uh, of the economies in the region. This is good news for us, and it's an example of how um, solid sound uh, macroeconomic policies, um, fiscal and monetary policies lead to the foundations uh, which are necessary for growth. But we have two scenarios. One is a little bit more ambitious of 4.8. You know, in order to get there, that's not impossible. In order to get there, we need FDIs, we need uh, domestic investment, and we need uh, the financial system to start uh, uh, financing, crediting really the uh, local businesses. So. Uh, we have some steps in that direction. We see business confidence and consumer confidence at all time high, but uh, we need to get over the cliff when people really trust that the new government can do, uh, can credibly do what we promise. Well, let's take a look at the, the ambitious scenario you lay, you've laid out there in terms of the growth prospects for the economy and how that ties into the reform package that you are pursuing now for Ukraine looking at things like land market reform, improving the investment environments, um, increasing competition in the economy, all these sorts of things. How much progress are you making on that reform front? Just under my ministry, uh, we have uh, five areas on which we are focusing. One is uh, agriculture, and that first of all is land market reform, um, but also food security, food uh, safety, and rural development. Then we have um, uh, two areas, roughly speaking, investment in private sector. Um, and here we see three areas of improvement. FDIs, we can do much more. Uh, but also domestic investment as well as the banking system can do better. Uh, we have 3,600 companies, really, owned by the state, which is a large number. But about 60 of them have potential interest for international and domestic investors, and the rest are of regional interest. Um, so we're going to put those in two streams. We're going to privatize some of them, and others we're going to put in asset holding companies uh, controlled by state. Uh, which will focus on improving, on continuing to improve corporate governance in this company and strengthening their performance. In the land market, uh, we have submitted the bill uh, to the parliament. The cabinet has submitted the bill within the three weeks of being uh, in the office. Uh, that's something which has not been done for over, you know, almost 20 years because we have had a, a block, a moratorium on land sales since 2001. Now, that's a political sen politically sensitive issue, and every step in the parliament is being fought, um, met with resistance, and there's all kinds of propaganda and misleading of people. But we've already seen in some areas that the uh, land prices and shadow markets and lease prices for the land, uh, this is what actually people are getting today, the owners, have, have increased uh, by 100% over a month uh, in some areas. That suggests that uh, the market is really underpriced, um, and the competition there has been suppressed and we're going to unblock that if we are successful. Uh, the remaining three areas is export promotion. Uh, trade here we are thinking about uh, and we are actually taking concrete steps towards uh, improving our relationship with the EU first of all, but also with the United States and with many other uh, partners, including our Asian partners. Uh, we have the EU association agreement where certain steps need to be taken and that would allow us to remove non-pricing uh, barriers for trade and that, that's going on successfully. Again, a number of uh, legislation uh, and bills which have been in the parliament for a while now are being passed and have been unblocked. And finally, competition policy and uh, labor market reform. On labor market reform, we have a uh, relatively high unemployment and yet a uh, very well-educated labor force, so there's a skill mismatch. 
Uh, so we need to address that through training, profiling, and other procedures. We need to strengthen our competition authorities, antitrust authorities, because essentially it's a monopolistic uh, economy, Ukraine. You can say oligarchic economy, and uh, mm, there it's important that uh, we build um, strong institutions which take on monopolies, and that is not, you know, a three months or one year process that will take uh, more time. So, you know, roughly speaking, the first two reforms or three reforms or areas, land, agriculture, uh, investment and in, uh, state-owned enterprises and expert promotion is sort of substantive, which we can do now. And then there are systemic ones. Trade continues to be a systemic reform, but also competition in the labor market that will take longer and then should ensure stability, sustainability of growth. Now, whether we can really do it or not, I believe uh, we can. Uh, the market will be the judge, um, and uh, we need to build credibility um, because Ukraine has been always this child which can grow but have never risen to the potential. But you need to tackle, as you said, some of those vested interests in Absolutely. terms of the oligarchic interests. Yeah, so that's the elephant in the room, the influence of the vested interests, you know. And I personally have not experienced any pressure uh, and any resistance from the vested interest, except through the political process. But this is, uh, is, doesn't appear to be that anyone in the government is sabotaging me or is telling me what to do. And I think that has been a big change relative to the previous government. So, so far I'm extremely optimistic. Uh, I'm in control of my ministry. Uh, I'm in control of my policies. And I'm a policy maker on all of these areas. Now, whether that continues to be, I very much hope so. Uh, and if it does, then I think we're in the new era for Ukraine. Finally, Minister, um, you were speaking at the IIF just a few days ago, um, and you mentioned the other ele elephant in the room, which is the Privat Bank issue, and tied to that is obviously the IMF discussions for a renewed support package. Can you give us any more color on that situation? You know, Privat is not the only bank which, uh, but it's the largest bank, uh, but we have a large uh, uh, percentage of non-performing loans, uh, and there have been a number of cases in courts uh, against the owners uh, of the banks. Uh, we have closed down over the last five years almost 100 banks, you know, almost nominally speaking in terms of numbers, half of the banking system. And some of it was complete fraud, others is questionable. But Privat being the largest issue on the agenda and it's in the news and it's also the optics issue uh, there is uh, problematic. The way the IMF is talking to us is not specifically about this issue, but more of the previous uh, point we just discussed, whether the government is truly in power. Uh, if we are in power, we will handle these issues. And that will take us years, you know, to get things through the courts. Uh, and the courts will decide, both in Ukraine and outside of Ukraine. It's not going to be an easy uh, thing to achieve, but we will fight and we'll, do, we'll protect the taxpayers uh, and we will uh, respect the court's decisions internationally and inside Ukraine. And we also will work on reforming our judicial system that it brings justice to the people. Um, so I think that's, that's the answer. Um, and I think uh, the thing to watch is uh, whether we can get through the land reform and whether this government uh, is actually in charge of the policies which are being implemented in Ukraine. I am confident we are, uh, but you know, this is just words and I ask you to watch us carefully. And as we improve and we prove to you uh, that we mean uh, seriously, uh, we mean business, uh, I very much hope uh, you will come to do business in Ukraine and invest in our country. Minister, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.